In this lesson, we're dealing with a Mac computer. And if you're on a website and you want to save an image, such as this fabric swatch, and if you have the ability with your mouse to right-click, just right-click on that image, and you will be able to save image as. And the image can be saved to your computer as a JPEG. You might be on a website where you don't have the ability to right-click. In this example, on a Mac computer, you can simultaneously depress three keys on your keyboard. That is the Command, Shift, and the number three key. And this will allow you to take a screenshot of that web page. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the Command key, on your keyboard, you can see it right here. And sometimes that command key will look similar to this. Here are several variations of the command key. So remember, if you cannot right click, you can use the command, shift, and three keys on your keyboard. Just simultaneously to press them, and you will be able to take a screenshot. Now, so far we've shown two examples of how to capture an image off of a web page. In this first example, we used the right-click method and we were able to save that fabric swatch, that specific fabric swatch right here, using the right-click method. And in the second example, where the right-click method was not available, we were able to take a screenshot of the entire web page by simultaneously depressing the Command, Shift, and the number three keys on the keyboard. There's another method where you can take a screenshot of what's appearing on your monitor if you have a mouse that has a center scroll button. Now not all mice have this capability but in our next example we're going to show how you can take a screenshot using your mouse if you do have that center scroll button. Now here we are on another website where we would like to capture that sofa, but we can't use the right-click method. So we're going to take a screenshot, and this time we're going to use the mouse. So click on the apple in the upper left-hand corner, and choose the System Preferences option. And a window will open up. And in this case, you want to go down to the other category down here and choose the Logitech Control Center. We happen to be using a Logitech mouse in this example. And another window will open up and you can select this wheel button option which will allow you to capture a screenshot when you depress that scroll button. Now there's another method for saving an image off of a web page using the Grab application that is on the Mac. Just click on the Grab program, which is under Applications, and then you can click on capture and you will be able to save a screenshot or an area of the web page. And when you want to save that image, just click on File, Save As, and you will be able to save that image, whether it's the full screenshot or part of the web page. And it will be saved as a TIFF file and we'll show you how to convert a TIFF file to a JPEG in just a second. Now here's an example of a web page showing 
a swatch of fabric and if you use the grab program you will be able to choose just that piece of fabric using the selection option you won't have to take the full screenshot of the web page so make sure that you explore the various options for the grab program I had mentioned that if you use the grab program to save an image off of your screen that it will be saved as a TIFF file so in order to convert it to a JPEG just highlight the file name and add the .jpg extension a window will appear asking you whether or not you really do want to change that file format to a JPEG and you do want to use the JPEG format. And there your TIFF was converted to a JPEG and it's ready to be used in Dream Draper.